Well, if you haven't heard about the metaverse yet, you will. With the push from big tech, many people are migrating to this new online universe, and it's providing new opportunities to make some money. And the metaverse is the next frontier, just like social networking was when we got started. It is a major shift in the way the tech world wants us to think about the internet, the metaverse. John Radoff is the CEO of the gaming platform company called Beamable and says the movement to a more immersive digital world has been happening for some time. Today we now have a couple of generations of people who have grown up with the internet, with their digital identity being online. Billions of people now, they are starting to find that their digital identity, their expression online is even more important than their physical identities. Radoff is among those laying the groundwork for the metaverse and says it all begins with video games. Players are going to be creating content. They'll be crafting experiences. They'll be like dungeon masters leading adventures. This is what many of us grew up on. Nintendo games like Super Mario Brothers. Beating 8-bit beasts and collecting lots of coins. But now, blockchain-based games like Axie Infinity could allow players to get a real payday. It's, it's kind of like Pokemon where you buy a character and then you can make your characters more powerful or you breed characters together and they can earn money by participating in the economy of that game. Or buy land next to Snoop Dogg in the Sandbox game, which looks a lot like the rapper's own home in California. You will be adding art to the game. You'll be a crafter within the game. You'll make worlds. You'll make fashions. And those fashions could be digital assets called NFT or non-fungible tokens. The economy is, l is left to the players to trade with each other and retain them if they want or sell them to another player who, who values it more. Radoff says the metaverse will also open up the global economy. It's going to allow a lot of people all over the world to access markets that they don't have access to right now and find new ways to earn money. And he expects most of the metaverse to be decentralized. That means banks are out and financial equality is in. Well, you don't have to be blessed by a gatekeeper anymore. And Radoff wants to clarify a common misconception. He says that while a lot of the metaverse will be virtual reality or augmented reality, others will be able to participate on a regular computer or your phone. Yeah, some pop stars are doing concerts inside games hmm. that people can watch for 10 minutes. It's really going to be an amazing progression. And I'm sure it's very, very cool. It's when Mark Zuckerberg talks about it that creeps me out for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure why. It's going to happen whether we like it or yeah. not. By the way, joining